What's up guys, it's Charlie NASCAR here coming at you after the race in Sonoma. Ah, that's good. DQ, gotta love it. Well, that race was just like I talked about in the, in the um, pre-race video about the time Martin Truex's strategy ended up taking out a big ass lead. I mean, I'll hand it to Kyle at the end there. He tried to make it interesting. But, you know, that's that pit strategy wins wins it for him every time. Cole Pern definitely called that race. All Truex had to do in order to win that was keep his car clean and do exactly what he was told to do. Not ever drive the car, keep it clean, no damage, and he won it. And I'll tell you right now, everybody's going to say, well, that front end damage that Kyle Busch got tangled up with Ryan Blaney, that had nothing to do with that. I mean, Kyle Busch, he, he made a Herculean effort. Much as I don't like the guy, I hate Martin Trucks even more. But, you know, much as I don't like the guy, I mean, he put in an effort. And shout out to about 95% of you. I think just about everybody except for maybe four or five people in the whole pick four picked Martin Trucks to win or had him in their top four. A lot of everybody had Martin Trucks and Kyle Busch, but no one got it perfectly. But, you know, hey, you guys you guys brought it. I didn't even think Trucks Jr., you know, I, I figured that was a one time fluke. That's strategy. I didn't think he'd ever do good in a road race ever again. And here I am sitting strawberry milkshake and being wrong. Damn, that's good. I don't care what you say. Strawberry milkshake's where it's at. Some key takeaways from the race, though. William Byron looked really good. Got his first stage win. Then he couldn't get his way back up to the front. Same with Joey Logano. Looked really good. Couldn't get his way up to the front. Kind of sad for Chase Elliott. With the um, battery issues, that he didn't make a better effort because he might have had some, but I just think that strategy they used, I mean, the strategy Truex used, or Cole Pern, I should say, you know, Truex just drives the car, Kyle Pern, Kyle, eh, Cole Pern just goes, just tells him where to go. And it worked. I mean, it did. I mean, as much as I hate to say it, and as boring as I made that last stage of the race, you know, that's the name of the game. You know, as much as I don't like it, you know, it's not their job to entertain us. It's their job to win that race by any means necessary. And if he has a strategy, they can go ahead and put Martin out eight seconds ahead of everybody and, you know, be able to get to get the win without having to kill the car. You know, hey, ain't more power to him. I don't like it, but, I mean, it's the rules. I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. I don't think it's the rules that should be changed either. You know, I think it's just the way it should be. You know, it's up to everybody else to figure out a way to beat it. You know, we've had they've had time to. It's up to them. See anything else? Oh yeah, it was DW's final race. Thank you, dear Lord. I know a lot of people do like Daryl. I did, but after the last couple of years, he just it was his time to go. You know, hopefully retirement finds him well. I don't know who they're going to have him replace him in the booth next to Jeff Gordon. Hopefully, it ain't Michael Waltrip. Who knows? Mm. Damn, that's good. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the race. I know I enjoyed the first two stages of it. But other than that, guys, I will see you all next time. And more importantly, fuck Toyota.